Hey, it's Eric G. Around the House is sponsored by Baldwin Hardware. For 75 years, Baldwin Hardware has been known for its first class quality and craftsmanship in door and cabinetry hardware. As an alumnus of the Baldwin Hardware Design Council, I can say I have seen the details and quality from design to the finished product. If you're looking for a new style and old world craftsmanship, I can tell you there is only one Baldwin Hardware. Check out what would look great in your home at baldwinhardware.com. It's Around the House. When it comes to remodeling and renovating your home, there is a lot to know, but we got you covered. This is Around the House. Welcome to the Around the House show. This is the next generation of home improvement, interior design and construction. Thanks for joining me today. This is our weekday update. This is what happens in between the weekends when we have stuff that we're going to cover today and maybe not cover over the weekend shows. And so that's what we're here for today. Thanks for joining me. I'm Eric G. Today, first off, I wanted to give you the information on how to get a hold of me if you have any questions. So you can give us a call here in the studio at 833-239-4144. That number again is 833-239-4144. Send me your home improvement questions. You can head over to aroundthehouseonline.com. And we've got a lot of videos, a lot of different stuff over there, including a place where you can contact me, send me your message. And if you want to be a premium member, you can do that as well and get the radio show podcast early before it even airs. And so that's your way to get a sneak peek before everybody does. Today, I wanted to talk about a couple things, and one of them is a big one out there, which is causing a lot of problems for people across the country, whether you're a landlord or whether you're a renter. And that is squatters. There are areas in this country, and I live around in one of them, Oregon State, where the squatters tend to have more rights than the homeowners do, and especially if you're a landlord. So here's what's happening out there. If you haven't heard what's going on, so let's say there's an empty house. Maybe it was your mom's house, and she has moved out and didn't care, and you haven't had a chance to go through her stuff, whatever it is. These people roll up, break into the house, and all they have to do is jump on to uh, Uber Eats or any one of the home delivery service, get some food delivered. They have a receipt, and now they can show proof of residency, which means you have to now evict them through the eviction process, which in some states can take three to six months, really easy or longer. And so these people are now stealing everything out of the house that was in there doing damage, ripping out the copper, ripping out the wire, all that stuff. And you as a homeowner or property owner in many areas have no recourse other than to go through the legal system. Now, other states are starting to come in with this. And I think this is something that across the U.S. we need to deal with because now you're seeing whether illegal immigration problem, we're starting to see people come across the border illegally and using this as their business model going into homes and squatting there. So this is a serious problem for people out there because here's what's happening. If you look at my friends in my area here in the state of Oregon, it could be New York, it could be Washington state, it could be lots of different areas across the country. This is just not a West Coast problem where I am. But here's the thing. What we're seeing is landlords having some less rights for the property that they own that they have to manage you're seeing them going, oh, forget it. And then what you're doing is that's the private landlord that's got things dialed in. Now you've got mega huge corporations coming in that are investing in real estate. They're buying up these homes and they're charging a premium for them and they're turning them into rentals or short-term rentals or anything else, which for anybody out there that is trying to rent a home on the short-term market, you maybe you want to be out there for even for a year, let's say. You want to rent a home because you're trying to stay. That's what Julie and I did when uh, her kids were still in high school. We didn't want to move out of the area. We did not want to move them out of district their last two years of high school. So we sold everything, rented a house for about 18 months, got through it, and then bailed out of there to move into the one that we're in today. When we did, that was the thing. We rented from a private guy. He didn't have a ton of money. He was not some land baron or something like that. He was just a normal dude 
who was a immigrant that had been in the country here legally working uh, in the tech field. And he was buying up real estate so he could make sure to have a family, a business plan for his family, which I give him that. That was awesome. But that's the problem is a majority of our people that are landlords out there that are renting single family homes. Most of these people are just regular people like everyone. This is not some, these are people out there that are trying to fix things themselves or trying to make sure and get it done. And they're just trying to be able to provide some equity so they have a retirement plan on this. And the problem you're seeing now and then is these areas where they've made it so hard with so many protections for the renter or the squatter that they're going, hey, I'm just going to bail out of this. I'm out. I can't afford to be landlord anymore. So what happens is that house gets sold. Somebody buys it up. Rarely does it go back into being a rental again. Most of the time, those homes go back into being either a single family residence or, like I said, another company comes in and buys them up as a big company. And then they're going to go through, remodel it, do all the stuff they do. And then it's going to be $1,000, $1,500 more than what it was before. So again, it's one of those things that's really hurting us on the affordable housing thing, as well as it's just leading to less inventory out there. Most of the people that I know that have had single family home rentals that had five years ago have gotten rid of them or are planning to bail on them because it's just not worth the headache. Someone could get in there and if they decide they don't want to pay, it could be a year before you get paid. But unfortunately, as a landlord, you're making the mortgage payment. So where I knew people that I was saying, hey, you should get into real estate investing. You should find a good house, make it a duplex, get in there, buy it, make it look good, rent it out. This could be great income. I'm now saying you need six to 12 months of mortgage in the bank to make sure because all it takes is one person that says, I'm not paying it. And now they have to go through the process and COVID made that process longer. So this is something that we really need to write the ship on. So in your area, pay attention to this, pay attention to what the rules are, what the legislation is. And I think each area needs to start taking a look and making things a little fairer for that. Now, I know people have hard times, but guess what? The right thing is, if you are not able to pay your rent, and I'm sorry you went through hard times, time to move out. It's not fair to that person who is invested their life savings in that place for you to short them on not paying it. And that's just the right thing to do, guys. So all of you people out there, I appreciate you tuning into Around the House here, but I wanted to talk today just about this issue. And we as a community as friends of around the house, need to start paying a little more attention to this. And if we could make sure, and when election season comes up, this is not a political thing, but we need to fix some of these laws out there so that people have affordable housing, so people have stuff that they could afford here to get this. And I want to make sure that there's houses out there for people to rent that want to be maybe homeowners one day, that don't want to be in an apartment, that want to have a dog in the backyard and, and have a yard and things like that, that maybe an apartment won't give them. So these are all things that I think are super important for everybody. And if you've got a comment on that, I'd love to hear it. Head over to AroundTheHouseOnline.com. we got a great show coming up this weekend. Can't wait to share it with you on Friday. And make sure that you hit the subscribe button on the podcast so you get all the updates when it comes in. And man, I would love to see some great reviews over there on Apple Podcasts or wherever your podcasts are. Those reviews help us stay at the top. And we just got named here the best home improvement podcast. And I thought that was really cool. I'll share that up here on social media at some point today. But super cool that we ended up being number one out there as far as the most liked podcast. I really appreciate all of you people out there that listen to this show that make it what it is. All right, everybody, I got to get off to an interview here I'm doing some TV and make sure that you head over to Around the House online if you want to catch some of those TV segments that I do. That show is one hour each week. And we've got uh, about 370 videos up on our YouTube playlist with great interviews, great products, great installations, and industry experts across the country. Thanks for tuning in to Around the House. I appreciate you. We'll see you on Saturday. Have a great rest of the week. Let's be lovers We're all over the radio
Bozowski, America's healthy home expert, back in the house, and I hear you have a healthy home summit coming up. It's Caroline B. back with Eric G. Yes, we've got the My Healthy Home Summit, April 22nd through the 28th, Earth Week. That is awesome. And what's the cost? Free. It's completely free. What? Learn about your house, get all the information you need to make sure that your home is healthy and safe from all the best building professionals, educational experts, and Eric G's favorite, technology. Woohoo! I love it. Where do they find out more information? My Healthy Home Summit, and you'll get all the information you need. For more information, click on the link below or find it in the show notes for your free offer. Thanks for tuning in to Around the House.